All right, coaches. So I'm going to demonstrate how and what a power hour is and how as a team we go through and do this every single day, especially if you're wanting to make an extra income or if you are wanting to build the business to retire a spouse or significant other, or just to be able, I know there's some single moms as well, so to provide an income and be able to come home from your own full-time job or part-time job. This is what this is what you do every single day to see those successes, okay? So what I'm gonna show you is our checklist that we go through each day. So if you guys see, I actually have all of mine right here. So I have tons and tons of them right here, okay? So what this is, is we call, it's the business activity tracker. So what we do is for our power hours, we go through this business activity tracker step by step, and we check off everything on the list. So I know that a lot of people, myself included, I, I prefer to do this when uh, my girls are taking a nap or when they're sleeping at night or I'll wake up. I've been waking up earlier to get things done before they wake up. Um, due to health reasons, um, I've been waking up a little bit later than I normally do. And so I decided that I was going to show you guys exactly how I go through this and I was also going to answer any questions that anyone might have. So if you're going through and you're watching this recording later, then make sure to comment below with any questions that you guys have regarding um, this workout or this, not this workout, this business activity tracker, power hour, whatever. Okay. So the first thing that I want each of you guys to do in your first assignment is you are going to figure out when you have an extra hour a day to dedicate to getting your power hour in. So for those of you that are working full time or you have kids that require a lot of extra attention, I am going to highly recommend that you work this in what we call power pockets, okay? So if you can't maybe get all of it in at once, then maybe work it in power pockets, which is what I kind of do. I do half, basically right when I wake up in the morning, and then I do the rest of it when Lakin is taking the nap. So this is how it works. On this, I'm just gonna go through each of these things that are on the checklist. And like I said, this is on the business activity tracker, which is in the files tab. And so I'm just gonna walk everybody through step by step. So if you notice on the very top, the very first thing on your list is be proof the product works, okay? So for those of you guys that have noticed, this is one of the vital behaviors, right? So it has drink your shakeology, then it has a hyphen, and then doing your workout. A lot of coaches will just go through and check it once they've done, but I like my coaches to dig a little deeper and be a little bit more um, specific with what they're doing. So I actually like them, and I do this myself, is I write down the exact flavor as well as the exact workout that I did today. So today I am writing down that I have, that I'm gonna drink my chocolate Shakeology for lunch and that I did upper fix and I also did um, 10 minute ab, um, the bonus 10 minute abs to go with it, okay? So that one's simple, right? It'll take you like less than 30 seconds to do. Okay, so then the next one is personal development. So read or listen to 10 minutes of personal development each day. And I normally do this right when I first wake up, but a lot of times I will end up doing way more than that every single day. So um, some people like to put in exactly what they listen to or what they watch. And these can be things like the national wake up call. They can be motivational videos that you see other coaches post. They can be recordings of webinars that other coaches have done. If you're learning or building yourself up in any way, it can be a scripture study for those of you guys that are religious. It can be anything that is gonna build you up and make you a better person. That is what personal development is. And it's gonna be different for everyone. And I've already went through that vital behavior in some of their previous videos in the group. So we aren't gonna go over that right now. So 
um, personal development. So I actually got my 10 minutes in a day, but I actually, I'm pushing my business harder. So I'm listening and reading to way more than just 10 minutes. But I like my coaches to be specific as to how much time you are spending doing your personal development. So I actually go through and I think of the day before and I write down how much time I spent doing personal development from the day before. Okay, so that's what I do with mine. You guys can do the same. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to, um, the next thing on the list is stay connected. So it says coach monthly, weekly coach forecast, breaking coach news, national wake up call, team Facebook page. Okay, so I try to post something every single day into our team page, whether it be inspirational or a training that I want you guys to do. And just so you guys know, our team page is Team Dream, Believe, and Achieve. Okay, so that is our team page. I always post something every single day in there. So make sure that you're checking to make sure that you're keeping updated on things. Um, so that's when we'll go there. So I'm going to click on our team. Dream Team Believe page. Here's our team calendar. Um, I just posted this inspirational video that you guys can go watch. Like yesterday, I posted about the National Wake Up Call, which if you haven't listened to that, make sure that you go back today and look at that as well. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're doing that. Um, the next thing that we're gonna check is our coach online office. So when you went through and did your website tour, which every single one of you guys should have done, um, for those of you that haven't, you're gonna log into your Team Beachbody page. You're gonna click home, and it's gonna bring you to this screen, okay? It's gonna have your, your coach ID, your rank, um, who your upline sponsor is, which should be me, or whoever, um, whoever your personally sponsored coaches, I'll have your upline diamond coach, which should be me. And then our star, star diamond coach is Megan for right now. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do is you're gonna come through and this is the coach breaking news. So for instance, it has the national wake up call recording from yesterday. So if you haven't listened to that, click on here, it'll bring you to the recording and you can listen to it. Okay, then it talks about Super Saturday and how to register for that as well as training tips, um, other national wake-up call replays, the deals for this month, challenge pack specials, success club prizes, things like that. It's all in this coach breaking news section right here, okay? So make sure that you guys are paying, paying close attention to what's going on in your online office. The next thing I wanted to point out, when you come in here, it'll have your success club points, which I have zero right now, but hopefully I'm gonna change that here soon. Um, but it'll have how much PV you've ordered each month to stay active. So I've hit that already. But if you click this leadership thing, it actually has, um, different, um, different, um, different benchmarks for you to build. So this is my current month and it pushes you. So this is like my goal now. Okay, so my goal is to be emerald and I'm diamond. Um, personally sponsored coaches with success cup points, the goal is two and I have one right now. Okay, um, weak leg volume, my goal is 200 and right now I have 35. Okay, so um, personally sponsored team leaders. So is when you guys start hitting success club every month, which we'll go over that too as well. Um, but as soon as you start hitting success club every month, that is when you'll become a team leader and every time that you rank in advance, you'll, you'll hit those certain points in there as well. Okay, so that's what, that's what that is. Um, so what, why I brought you guys here is to show you the different things as well as you always have the My Alerts down here. So whenever you have a new coach that signs up or you have coaches that are about to go inactive in your downline, all those will pop up right here, okay? Um, so that is checking your, your back office. But another thing that I want all of you to get in the habit of, even if you're just starting out, I want you guys to get in a habit of checking your downline to make sure that you guys are, um, 
actively checking it to make sure that your coaches aren't going inactive or if they are inactive then you can go through and kind of check back in with them so you're going to do that by going to my business my downline sponsorship drill down okay this is going to be like your power tool ever so it'll go through and it'll have who's active who's inactive um things like that it'll have um volume points right here so projected pv It'll also have current success club points right here. So I have that Michaela is at two. So it it's honestly, it's super awesome and it's a great tool to use, especially when you're growing your team because then you don't always have to check the graph, graphical genealogy to see who's active and who's not. So it's much quicker this way. All right, so that is checking our coach online office. So. We've done that now. So the next thing on the list is social media. So um, three posts per day, it has suggested. So it has a personal post, a health and fitness co post, and a motivational post. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what mine was today. And mine was kind of a, um, um, wow, okay. So mine was kind of a, a motivational slash fitness post. That's kind of what I like my my first post to always be every day. Um, so this was mine from today, and if you haven't read it, then definitely go and see an example of what to post. As coaches, we don't want, or I don't want to be salesy. I know that a lot of my other coaches don't want to be salesy. So I, if you ever want ideas on what to post, go ahead and go to my page. Like here is. Here is something that where I mentioned about the 21 day fix. Okay. There, there's simple ways that I incorporate my family and my life into Beachbody. And that's what coaching is. You don't want to ever be salesy, but you do want to invite others to join you. So if you need some ideas, go to my page or find your favorite coach to follow and follow them as well. Okay. So that is your social media post. And I usually do one right after I do my workout. And then I'll do one around lunchtime and then usually one in the evening. So you kind of pick, um, I like to say three to five posts because depending on the day, I have more to say and other days I don't. So just whenever you basically feel inspired, post something. Okay. All right. So the next thing on the list is new contacts. So this one's always a fun one to talk about. Um, but I get the question a lot of, well, where do I find new people to invite? Like, how do I find people that are like me? And um, a lot of people don't like to go and, and um, poach people, I guess, um, on what, like they don't like to sell people and they don't like to reach out to them randomly. And so this is how we find new people because as you guys can see I have right now I have 2,500 friends and I'm going to be 100% honest with you when I started I probably had 200 friends maybe and the key to it is I'm adding people every single day and I don't just go and add random people I I like to personally target newer moms newer moms that are struggling with um, depression in general that are looking for a solution to help um, make them happy again and make them feel um, of worth again. So you guys are gonna find that every single one of my coaches is different and every single one of you is gonna target different people. So what I encourage you to do is think about those groups that you're in. I know all of you guys are in certain groups that pertain to whatever your interests are. So I want you to think of your interests. So for me, I am surrounded by my kids, so I talk about my kids a lot. I talk about maybe activities that my kids can do, and I share those ideas on social media. Um, so I'm in a lot of mom support groups, okay? So I'll go to those groups, or I, I actually have been getting added into a lot of different um, entrepreneur groups. So a lot of unique and a lot of um, it works groups, a lot of LuLaRue groups, um, things like that. I always get added to groups, 
And I used to think of it as a negative, but in reality, if you like certain products like that, that's the perfect place to find people to add as friends. So what I actually do is I am just going to show you, um, I'm going to show you one of the groups I like to go to. And I actually asked my friend if I could do this, so it's no surprise, but, um, cause I know that she does it to me. So I actually buy a lot of makeup through my friend Autumn. And so she's taking a lot of my Facebook friends and added them. So I actually go to hers and I add, um, it says on the sheet two to five people, but I am trying to hit success club 10 every month. So I have been adding 10 people every single day. So that is going to be a hundred percent up to you on what you decide to add. Okay. So that is what that one is all about. And it doesn't have to be a unique group. Like if you're a guy, you can go to like, I know there's mad groups, my husband's in a bunch. So find those groups that interest you, that you have the same interest with these people, because that's going to help you connect with them. And it's going to give you a window to present the opportunity to somebody in that way, because you have something in common and something common to talk about. Okay. So the next one is inviting to join to a challenge group and or fit club. So, um, with the challenge groups, I had you guys make a list of 100 people, right? And it's it was up to you if you actually made the list or not. But nonetheless, you're supposed to make a list. Here is my list that I go off of every single day on what um, the people that I invite, okay? So you want to make sure that you are going through this list and you are inviting you are going to get a lot of people that don't answer you back at all. You're going to get a lot of people that tell you that you're not interested, but you are going to have those people that say yes. And that is the most rewarding feeling is when you're able to finally help someone. And so you want to never give up because as discouraging as it gets from many people telling you no, if you haven't read the book, Go For No, it is a great book on being excited to hear the word no, because every time you get a no, then you're getting closer to getting your yes. So make sure that you guys keep that in mind when you are inviting to join challenge groups, okay? And a lot of times no means no right now, but as the more consistent you are with your business, people are gonna start thinking, oh, well, we're just like really serious about this. Maybe I'm going to ask her now if I can join in on a group because a lot of people are just testing to see if you're going to keep with it. And so you just want to make sure that you're being consistent. Okay. Um, so as far as invites go, I do have an inviting script that I use. If you do use my inviting script, I want you to change the wording so it sounds more like you because this is completely something that I use. And, but I do want you guys to use it as an example, but with those first hundred people, I will do what they call a cold invite. Okay. And I am actually going to make that a note that this is my cold invite invite. Okay. So you're going to use that cold invite for people on your hundred your hundred list. Okay. So those are the people I want you to start inviting today. Okay. And you can start with two to three, two to two to five people. I invite 10 people every single day and I've actually upped it too. So you just want to make sure that you're inviting that many people every single day. So cold invite. So here's my example is, Hey, I know that this is a hundred percent random, but I'm getting ready to start another one of my 21 day fix fitness and accountability groups on Monday. It lasts for 30 days. Would this be something you're interested in doing with me? I was just really hoping to get some of my friends to do it with me because it makes me, it makes it more fun for everyone that way. I've been hesitant to even ask, but I keep getting the feeling that I should. Would this be something that you'd be interested in doing right now? And from there, even if you get a maybe, a maybe is better than a no, but at the same time, I get excited for no's because that means I'm getting closer to my yeses, okay? So that would be an example of a cold invite. So I want you for the rest of this week to take that 100 list and start inviting with the cold invite. I want you to start inviting two to five people every single day, okay? So 
Um, that is the inviting part for the challenge group. Okay, so then the next one is invite to learn about the business. So if you have those close friends or those close relatives that you honestly just think that they would make a fantastic coach, send them a cold invite. Say, hey, I just started, I just started coaching and I I just thought that you would make a really good, great coach because, and give them the reasons why you think that they'd make a great coach. Is this something that you've ever considered doing? And a lot of times you're gonna get what we call the objection, where you're gonna find out maybe why they don't think they're gonna make great, a great coach, and you're just gonna reassure them of how they can still be a great coach with the objection that they gave you, okay? So you're supposed to be inviting two to five people a day. So for the first month as a new coach, I know how overwhelming it can get. So maybe just start with one person a day. Just start little and grow grow up to where when you start getting more confident, start inviting more people, okay? Um, another thing I wanted to mention back to the social media posts, when you do post things about, for instance, the 21 Day Fix or um, any other program for that matter or Shakeology, and they like or comment on that post, I would reach out to them and maybe even send them out one of those cold invites and say, hey, I noticed that you liked my post on the 21 Day Fix. Have you ever considered joining one of my accountability groups? So you're gonna ask them questions like that and, you're, and um, you wanna make sure that you're, you're making a list of those people so that you can go back and invite them later, okay? So, um, the next thing on the list is following up. So if you've been talking, you've been in the business for like, I don't know, even like two weeks, um, maybe you're going to start getting people that say, okay, I would love to do it, but I, I need to wait until I get paid or I get the, I need to wait until my husband gets paid and, I, and I'll say, okay, great. When does your husband get paid? And they'll tell me the date and I'll say, okay, I am going to put a reminder on my calendar right now and I will check back in with you then. So I'm gonna show you my calendar that I literally use to write people that I need to check in with. So right here is my calendar that I use that I write people that I need to check in with. So this is gonna be that time that you're gonna go and you're gonna do what we call follow-ups, okay? Follow-ups are so important and they're so key because if you don't set dates to check back into people, if you don't check back in with that person, a lot of times when they are interested, but they just couldn't afford it in the moment, they're going to go find somebody else. If you aren't on them and you aren't asking them and checking back in with them, seeing how they're doing, they're going to go to someone else. So um, you need to make sure that you are doing your follow-ups every single day, okay? And it's not even with just your Facebook notifications, but it's follow-ups through phone, through email, um, text messages, anything like that, especially where you're gonna start inviting family, you need to make sure that you're doing it, okay? As scary as it is, you need to do it. And if you're scared to do those things, I want you guys to read um, Go For No and Go Pro, okay? Or even The Compound Effect, okay? So all three of those books are great books to start out with on consistency, on having the courage to invite, and how to invite other people to do things, okay? So the next one is existing customer check-in. So as you start signing up these new customers, you wanna make sure that you're checking in with them, asking them if they have any questions about anything. Maybe seeing if, if you're getting towards the end of your, um, the end of your accountability group and maybe they haven't posted, maybe check in to see if something came up and they're struggling. Because a lot of times when people don't post in your groups, it's because they're struggling or they're afraid or they don't know how to do something. So a lot of times if you reach out to them and you help them make it through whatever problem that they're having, it makes it easier for them. Okay. So, um, the last one is connect with the team, okay? So join in on team calls, which by the way, team calls are every Sunday night at 8.30 p.m., okay? So every single week, every Sunday, we host a team call. So make sure you mark that on your calendars so that you're there, you show up so that you guys can learn and grow because we all give 
tips and every single one of our coaches has an opportunity to, to teach a call, okay? So make sure that everyone's there. All right, so um, the next one is, oh, good job, you got dressed. Um, so the next one, um, so make sure that you're showing up to team calls. Um, check into your coach basics, which is the group that we're in right now. So if you're checking in here once a day, good for you. Um, and you want to make sure that you're checking into our team page because, like I said, I'll post inspirational stuff. But you also want to check into our challenge group that's going on because you have to keep up on your three, um, your three vital or your four vital behaviors. But three of them are done in the in the challenge groups, okay? And you want to make sure that you're showing up for your challengers because they've invested in you and you need to show up for them. So you need to make sure that you're being consistent and you're doing those vital behaviors so that they're seeing that you're doing it too, okay? So, um, and then eventually as your team grows, this will be when you start checking in with your coaches and your challengers, um, seeing how they're doing how you can help them, maybe scheduling one-on-one -on -one calls with them. This is when you'll do that. So that is what our power hour is every single day. No matter what, even when I'm feeling my crappiest and I honestly don't want to do anything, I have been so tired lately because my testosterone levels have been so low again. But I'm not letting that stop me, and I'm always getting this in every single day. It's something that I make it non-negotiable every single day to do. So I promise you guys that if you do this power hour in or even work it in power pockets like we talked about before, your business is going to explode, and it's going to move forward, and you're going to start seeing success. But when you are lacking in any one of these areas, you're going to start seeing your business not be as great. So make sure that you're being consistent because consistency is key, especially with this business. You have to make sure you're showing up because other people are watching you and you have to set that example. So that is what a power hour is. If you have any questions, post below. Um, remember your assignment is to print off the business activity tracker and start doing it today. Um, and I also want to see what personal development you're listening to today as well. So I hope that this video helps and I'm so glad that everybody watched it. And like I said, comment below with any questions. Chances are if you have a question, once again, somebody else in the group probably has the same question. So I will talk to you guys later.